Hi folks, welcome to the Horde. So, let's see. The first video you guys saw was actually cleaning up stuff and making progress on the Horde. This video you're going to see will be that I'm not making any progress on the Horde. Anyway, so it's about, I don't know, what is it, about 5 o'clock. It is August 9th, Saturday, 84 degrees on that one. 83 on that guy. And... This one says 28.4. That'll be centigrade. Anyway, um, my boss um, told me last week, he says, hey, got this John Deere tractor. And he says, it's got a problem. And I said, really? He goes, yeah, it uh, seems to have a transmission problem. I said, okay. He uh, says, you want it? And, you know, being the kind of person I am, a crazy freaking hoarder, I said, yeah, I'll take it. So he says, come over today, get here at 1, and you could have it. So here it is. Step on the clutch, turn the key. Starts up, right? We're all happy. Put in gear. Let go of the clutch. Nothing. Nothing. Wait a minute. I don't know if you guys can hear that clunking. Wait a minute. Can you hear the clunking? Anyway, he says it appears as if the case cracked in the back here. The transaxle case cracked. And it spilled its guts on his driveway. I just drove it around back here. And uh, now it won't move anymore. So I think... There you go. It's in gear, right? So maybe it'll move again now that I just kind of slim things together so I'll, obviously I have to put a rear end in it let me show you this side so I don't keep putting my shadow all over it though I don't know if you could see it so John Deere it is a 160 so that's the engine it's got in it and that engine is I don't know what is this it's a Cowie so it's got a Kawasaki single cylinder on it battery Kawasaki single cylinder um, 38 inch deck I guess that's where it came from Poquaic New York so fiberglass hood decent seat so this is the first John Deere in the fleet I gotta pull the rear end out of it. Let me try not to stand in the shadows. I don't know, so you guys could see it. Um, I don't know, I think he's had it for 15 years or so. There's the tag on it. I don't know, from that one could get some official dates or something. It's, um, one of the real John Deere's, the 160. This this is before they started with the um, the, the thinner metal. Though they did go with the uh, aluminum rear end. So though it doesn't have the real thin metal throughout, they did cheapen up the rear end. And the rear end, the case split, so it's done. Um, he did include the bags for it and the uh, the chute right so I got the whole bit it was um, basically a freebie he said come get it I brought him some uh, some beer I picked up 20 bucks worth of uh, beer dropped that off Heineken so 
I don't know, you could say it cost 20 bucks, you could say it cost nothing, and, and I brought my boss some beers. I don't know, how you want to look at it. So, there's the, uh, the things for the bags. Obviously, I went and got it with the truck. He also asked me to take these tires. They're, uh, they're not great. They're kind of bald, and one can see some of them have problems. But they're on these rims. I don't know. I don't know if these are good or not. V-O with a U. Vox, Vox, Vox Racing maybe. And they're drilled. They're universal drilled so that you can supposedly put them on anything. Right, they got holes to fit almost anything. And from the looks of the holes, my guess is they'll fit anything 5 bolt. I'm not I'm not thinking that I could uh, my eyes are seeing 4 bolt holes here. Looks like 5 bolt doesn't look like it'll do 4s. So, yeah, there's 4 of them. Um this one's in pretty trashy shape. That one's not too bad. That one's not too bad. That one's pretty trashy. So it looks like two of them are street legal, two of them are not. What am I going to do with them? I don't know. He said take them. And when somebody's giving you a free tractor, you don't, you know, cause too much trouble, right? You do as you're told. Um, he threw in spare belts. Right? I think they're used, but he kept, he keeps the... Uh, uh, wrappers so that you can figure out what they are um, and about progress on the garage I ended up going over to see him and then we hung out for a while no we didn't drink all the beer um, and then you know I moved some stuff around you can see I got some stuff out of the out of the um, garage Right, moved it. Oh man, come on. That's good for it, by the way. Yeah, some more stuff fell off. So, I have almost a path in. You know, the problem with the garage is one really needs to go through every little bit like this flashlight this is just your typical two dollar rayovac flashlight with a standard you know filament light bulb in it what do you do with this do you actually keep it do you throw it do you put it in a bin that you're going to take it to a flea market and try to get a quarter or 50 cents or a dollar for it or do you just say screw it and throw it away spare charger for um batteries those um Ryobi's, 18 volts, all-in-ones. Um, oh, yeah, that's what this is. And no, this is, I don't even know what it is. This is a air pump, right? So there's an air pump to join the pile of air pumps right there. Spare sockets, right? You say, oh, why do you keep spare sockets? You have complete sets. You do have a complete set until you break a socket. Then you no longer have a complete set. And if you have a spare socket, you're good. You can recomplete your set. If you don't have a spare socket, you got to go to Sears or on eBay or whatever and get get hammered. So the problem with all of this crap is what do you do? Um, this tire, this tire belongs on a trailer, it doesn't belong here, but it's got to get out to the trailer, and that's, you know, how do you get a mess like this? One piece at a time. Tanks. God forbid this place ever goes up, right? Oxygen, settling. Then over here, settling, settling, right? Circular saw. It's just... The, the place is amazing, and literally, I need to go through it one piece at a time and figure out what am I keeping, what am I saving. I uh, had all these ideas for an alternator project, right? So basically, you bolt one of these onto, you know, a motor, the other side, obviously. Start spinning an alternator, and look, you're generating electricity, right? There's the motor, right? Bolt that right on there. 
spin the alternator. Look at me, I got electricity. Aren't I happy? Yeah, you're happy, but meanwhile, the motor's there, that's there, the alternator's somewhere else. So, how do I get this mess? Once again, one piece at a time. And to make progress on it, I went and picked up a tractor and four additional tires to uh, add to it. So uh, hopefully tomorrow is another day where I don't actually go out and buy something and bring it home and add to it. Anyway, folks, don't mind my raving. It's just uh, this mess does kind of get to me once in a while. I think what I am going to do, though, I'm going to try to keep this video before 100, less than 100 years long. But these Suzuki's, I have two of these LT230's. I think I'm going to put them on the trailer. I have an empty trailer out back, just the bikes, jack them up so the tires don't get bad. I'm going to tow them out to the barn with the trailer, so the trailer and them will be out in the barn. Um, they could stay there for as long as they stay there. If the owner of the property eventually says, yo, get your crap out of my barn, obviously I'll have to get it out of there. If he says, yo, I'm keeping the crap in my barn, then he's going to keep them. Uh, or if I actually do something with them beforehand, fine. But meanwhile, they're out of here. This is prime real estate. If you get these two guys out of here, and there's another guy that already left in, in out of inside there. That's where the um, the uh, 250 SX was hiding. That gets three of these footprints loose. Not that that's a million acres of space, but three bikes is three bikes. Um, That'll help a little bit, you know. Then I just got to grind through this stuff, figure out what's worthy of keeping, what I'm getting rid of, you, you know, and start moving. That roofing tar, I think it's uh, dead. So that's a five-gallon bucket out of here, you know. Just one piece at a time. That's the only one, way one could go through this stuff. Gradually try to get the electrical stuff here. The tools here in this rack and then gradually I got to sort through them right each piece one one thing at a time until until it's all gone anyway folks thank you for watching thank you for commenting thank you for subscribing if anybody knows anything about those uh, 160s the um, the John Deere 160s my lean is to just find a rear end to bolt underneath it um, that has a five speed it looks like an aluminum um, the only thing that could be complicated it is it has the shifter on the on the um, on the fender a lot of a lot of them have the shifter in between personally if I could get a four speed with the shifter you know between my legs that's fine I don't care if the thing goes forward and reverse and cuts grass. Um, and by the way, I did cut grass with it on my way to the garage before I, I finished the transmission off. So um, that, that much does work. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Um, thanks for hanging with me here. Um, remember, keep your feet down, your head up, and enjoy every day of your life. Gotta have fun. Bye now, folks.